what's going on YouTube it's your boy Aiden here you just saw a bunch of binders go out um, if you didn't know 0.5 CC my clothing company check us out 0.5 cc.com we have a binder program and we had to put on suspension because we had over a hundred binder requests so GC to be just sent uh, just donated some binders to us plus you guys have donated binders to us also so um, I still have some binders over here. There's probably another uh, 30 to 50 over there, but um, there's at least 50 binders in that car right now that I just loaded up that I'm going to drop off today. So I'm super, super pumped about that. Um, otherwise, I'm just here pressing some t-shirts. I'm still, I've not left uh, my hat. I have not taken it off my head, I don't think, for more than an hour or like, or like you know, while I was sleeping. But, uh, so I have some other hats and stuff to work on, but today is a pressing day. So I've just been pressing a lot of shirts today, trying to get everything done and ready um, so that uh, tomorrow I have to write a keynote for the conference I'll be doing in October, as well as I have some other actual orders, not binder requests that I have to get out. Today is a busy day doing a bunch of random stuff. I was supposed to go see and hang out with Rob to watch a football game tonight because his bills are playing, but unfortunately our friend Amber, shout out to you, much love to you. Uh, her cat's not doing well, so he canceled those plans to spend some time with her. Got some ink on me. So he canceled those plans to spend some time with her, so got a little bit more time to uh, get things done today. Working in the office, working, working, working. So I am cleaned up. Jaylee has a session right now in the house, so I opted to do this little video in the car. Why not, right? I wanna talk about something that's come up recently. And I'm not going to like mention any names because, you know, guys, I like to keep things private when people share stories with me. I do think there's something that should be shared here. I've actually experienced this a lot too, and that's when people start talking about dating a trans person, being non-transgender identifying, and dating trans people. It seems like people get really, really confused in the sense that, um, you know, I'll use myself as the first example. When I first made my public, my page public and everything, I had a lot of gay men contact me and ask me, oh my god, like, I think you're so hot. Does that make me straight? And, you know, being a, a, a trans man, I, like, laugh at first, like, <laughs> you're joking, right? But they're not. They're not joking. They really do feel like they might be straight if they're attracted to me. And so my first question back to them is always, well, do I look like a chick? And they go, no. And I say, okay, well, then you're probably still gay. <laughs> and vice versa. Um, so for instance, that's a lot of, I experienced that a lot, you know. Um, and my friend pretty much was dating this, this girl who has decided that she doesn't want to date him anymore because she's not really sure about her own sexuality. She identifies as straight and she's dating a trans man and now she feels like she's not a lesbian so she doesn't want to date him anymore. To me, it's just like, what are you talking about? You're not dating a woman, you're dating a man. Goes back to the concept that so many people view transgender people as purely genitals. They really just look at the penis and the vagina, and whatever you have is what you are. It doesn't quite matter about anything else that the shells revolved around, right? So it doesn't matter if you date this person, getting along great, you're starting to really fall for this person, but oh, hold on, wait a second, you don't have a penis? I don't think we can do this. Now, I'm not saying that you can't have a preference, right? There's gay people, there's lesbians, bisexuals. Um, people have preferences. Some people like brunettes over blondes, you know? Some people like, you know, ass instead of boobs, you know? <laughs> Some people like, you know, beards and no beards. So there's, it's okay to have a preference. That's okay. No one's saying that if you're a gay man, you should start dating women because, you know, you're judging them based on their genitalia. No, we're not saying that. What we're saying as trans people is that if you're dating a trans man, you're dating a man. 
if you see a trans guy and you think he's cute, he's a man. It's kind of mind blowing being the trans people. When I look in, like I'm looking at this this reflection, right, and I'm like, this is a dude, okay. Um, and if you're just gonna base it based off what's in my pants. It, it, it's like crazy to me, you know, the, the the straight of the answer is no You're not you know to the gay men who say oh, you're attractive. Does that make me straight? No, you're not straight It's really mind-blowing when people say that type of stuff and even more mind-blowing when people start to date and they like each other It's very clear that they like each other But then the other person that the non-trans person is like hold up. Well, I'm not gay or I'm not a lesbian So I'm not gonna date you it's like, so pretty much everything else doesn't matter. It doesn't matter how good of a guy you are. It doesn't matter that you treated them well. It doesn't matter that you get along. It doesn't matter that you have things in common. It doesn't matter that this person makes you feel good. It only matters what's in their pants. I feel like, you know, this is our biggest problem is that we don't see transgender people as people. We see them as things we want to label and things that we need answers to. And the only answer is that if I'm presenting as male, I'm a male, okay? What's in my pants doesn't really matter. And, you know, I under, you know, uh, this is another example real quick. Someone commented below one of my Instagram posts and there was conversation back and forth. And they're like, oh, you're such a good looking guy. You would be just the kind of guy I'd want to date if you were cis. And they said, well, it's just a preference. They prefer a penis, okay? That's fine, but at the end of the day, like, I'm sure women would prefer to orgasm every time they have sex, but studies show that 80% of women do not orgasm when they have sex. What is the penis doing for you? Right? It's so much more than that. Like, if that's all sex is to you, is this, then you need to, like, explore some other areas. There's some really great things out there that can be done besides this. Okay? <laughs> And like, you know, I know it sounds silly and like I'm kind of doing this in like, a, you know, I'm trying to approach this in like a casual way. At the end of the day, when you say you don't like a trans person because what's in their pants, you are pretty much telling that person that your, like, your identity means nothing. Only what's in your pants is what matters to me. Yeah, like, so it's like, no matter what nice thing you say about me, everything is just negated because you just call me a chick. Like, do you, does this not, uh, do you guys not understand this process, this, this concept? And, and I feel like people have got to get this right. If you're talking to a trans woman, it's a woman. It's not a dude. You're not gay. And if you're talking to a trans man, that's a dude. Like, like, you're not a lesbian, okay? I mean, unless you're a chick and you're attracted to a trans woman, you might be a lesbian, but you might also be bisexual. So, you know, that's a different subject matter. But the point of the matter is, is that we are the genders that we identify as, the genders that we reflect back to you, okay? So stop thinking that if you find a trans man attractive and you're a cis woman, oh my gosh, I'm a lesbian. You're not a lesbian, okay? Go, go hang out with some lesbians and you'll see what being a lesbian is, right? You'll see that like the attraction is towards the feminine identity, the feminine identity, okay? The attraction, I have a masculine identity. So if you're attracted to masculine identities, you may be attracted to me. But if you're attracted to feminine identities, you're probably not gonna be attracted to me. People need to start getting past the pants, move up to the freaking head, and get with it, okay? Because I'm just tired of getting that email. Hey, I'm a straight girl, I, I think I'm a lesbian. No, you're not. Okay, you're not. It's not that complicated. <laughs> I mean, I feel like I, I could talk about this all day. It's more than just what's in the pants. It's about the person. It's about the person. And this is not like, this, this goes even beyond trans things. That like, we need to stop focusing on these outside shells and focus on what's inside. Too many people are divorced, 40, 50 years old, and then they fall in love with someone and they're like, they're not the kind of guy I would ever think I would date. Oh, she's not the kind of girl I would ever date. He's not the kind of guy I would ever date. It's like, yeah, that's because you actually became unsuperficial and you started looking inside and the outside was just a nice, you know, a nice reflection of the inside. You know, stop looking here, stop looking there, and start looking in here, okay? <laughs> Enough with people emailing me, am I straight? Am I a lesbian?
Like, I'm not a chick. Stop thinking it, okay? If you look at me and you think I'm attractive, you're attracted to a man, not a woman. All right, guys, that's my rant for the day. I'm going to pick up some Chipotle. Oh, some Chipotle. Not sponsored, but Chipotle. Hit a brother up. All right, guys, I'll catch you in the next video. Enjoy the weekend. Peace. Oh,